Hello everyone. In the previous video, we learned that how we can create the customer controller routes and blades. So now the time is to build our dashboard. So I already picked up a template where I'm renting this main template and the main template I'm renting this users. So I will add the link in the descriptions of this template so you can purchase this template. So this is the paid one. Okay. So we are in the index. So here we are retrieving all of the customer. So now the time is to first uh, first to create our access token and then we are going to move further to the next one. We are going to access the customer resource. So let's go to the customer controller. Go here and let me find this customer controller here. So here before jumping to the, this one, I'm going to first to create a private method. So why I'm creating this method because I need uh, a token at uh, different times. So that's why I'm creating this uh, uh, using this through function create get access token. I'm naming this like this one. And here I'm going to first uh, use the client ID. Here I need the client ID. I will save the client ID here. Then I need a client secret. Then I need the base URL and stuff like that. So let me grab the client secret here, client secret. And then I need the refresh token. I also need the refresh token. You know that we generated them, generated this in our previous video. So let me uh, close this one, close this one, this one. And uh, where and here we generated our access token, uh, not access token, we generated our refresh token. So we are going to use this refresh token to generate the access token. So this one here, we are going to paste this refresh token. So let me copy its value from there and uh, paste it here. And uh, then let me grab the client ID and secret. So we opened this uh, here. So let me go to the console and where it is. Yes, it's this one. So let's go here and copy this one. So I'm pasting this here and then I'm going to copy this client to secret also. And then I'm, I have a refresh token and then I need the base URL. So this base URL is located here. It's a account dot Zoho. So let me get this from the Zoho. So where is the documentation? So it's there. So here we need to get its URL and then we are going to generate the token. So what is the base URL? So let's go to the documentation and let me go through all of the steps. So basically when we are going to refresh the token, you need to find the refresh token and not this one. So this one generate access token from refresh token. So what are the parameters? The first one is refresh token. We pass this refresh token and then client id client secret and then grant type so we need to type this grant type and then redirect uri so let me add this redirect to uri here so make this uri like this camel case and let me copy this redirect to uri from this console so copy this one go back and paste this here so now we added this uh, here. So what is the next? So we need to add this grant type. So I'm not going to add this like uh, this. So let me get this refresh token. So now we added these all of the ones. So why it's throwing this error that unexpected? Oh, I think I uh, forgot to add this closing bracket here. No, not this one. So it's uh, something else. So why it's throwing this? So let me remove this. So, oh, I forgot to add this a uh, function here. Function and then uh, you don't need to do anything. So what's next? Here we need to send the request. So where we need to send this request? So let's go here. And here we need to send this request to this one. So we need to send a post request, right? So in the previous videos, when we send our request from this postman, when we are generating the access token from the refresh token, so we are sending the post request, right? This post request to this URL. So let's go here and here we are going to use the HTTP, HTTP facade right so which is available in this HTTP client so here we are going to use this post method 
and in the post i'm going to pass this uh, url and uh, then we are going to attach uh, other parameters which parameters so we are going to attach uh, uh, these parameters like client id client secret and stuff like that so how we can pass them in our request so you need to type comma here and then you need to uh, add this an array so here you can pass these uh, values there right so you can say that it's a client id as mentioned in the documentation of this uh, zoho so let me check the video size so it's uh, not bigger okay so type refresh token so here it's a refresh token and then you need to type refresh token or you can also use the full url so you don't need to manually type this like this so refresh token and then what's next to so let me copy this paste paste and then we need the second one client id and client secret so it's a client id client to secret and uh, redirect to uri and then ground type so copy this one and uh, let me uh, make this uh, client to secret client secret redirect to uri and then ground type so now i generate this uh, here so i need to save this uh, response in a response variable so this will return us a token right so here let me return this response so it's a response and save this one so now we are going to execute this in our index method so here i'm going to return this uh, i'm going to call this method here so by using this because we are in the i'm going to execute this function so we are returning this access token so when i will uh, visit this uh, open this index so this will open return us an access token so give it a refresh so it's going to return and return us an access token or an error so wait for a moment to complete this process it's uh, sending a post request and i one more thing i forgot that which is headers so i forgot to add the head oh no i don't need to pass any headers because we are getting the access token and it says invalid client so let me fix this issue okay so i figure out that why it's not working because we need to we don't need to pass these parameters like uh, this array so we need to type this so uh, here like uh, token and stuff like that so let me paste uh, copy paste this from my previous example so after this token we need to paste this like this right and uh, here we need to uh, we are adding this like uh, after this when you are adding the refresh token to here and then we are adding this uh, end sign and then we are adding the client so let me add this uh, client id and then we are going to add this uh, client secret here right client secret and then we are going to uh, use this grant type refresh token so you can pass this uh, refresh token like uh, it's a grant type so you can type like this Oops, let me close this out and concat with this one so it's a refresh uh, not refresh it's a uh, what is the name of token it's a grant token grant type okay so we are passing this a uh, grant type now and uh, other parameters and yes so now our this one is correct so let me remove this so uh, uri because we added this here so give it a refresh and i tested this so it's working and give it a refresh that is it still returning and yes it's returning us an access token right so now the time is to get this token so how we can get this token so in the next video we are going to get the token from this uh, json response and then we are going to use this in our customer. So I will meet you in the next video. Bye-bye.